What's good everyone, it's Zigzag here, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today I am joined by a good in real life friend of mine, Big Hosk. How's it going, Big Hosk? Sheesh, hey Big Oscar, how are ya? I'm well, thank you Big Hosk, it's good to have you along on the channel. So we have a brand new series for you guys. We are going to be training Big Hosk to get a 24,000 score on No Moving Diverse World. So, Hosk, Unreal. tell us a little bit about your GeoGuessr skill before we jump into the first round. So, I've been playing GeoGuessr on and off for a bit, maybe for a year. I'm certainly not a um, professional gamer, mm -hmm. but I know a little bit of meta, and um, I'd say, like, probably, like, average player, maybe. I guess yep. you'd better tell me, Oscar. Yeah, from, from what I've seen, I, th I think that's a fair analysis of your skill so far, and you've never achieved the 24k, is that correct? Never, never, never. I've got 23,733, which is my best, my best attempt yet, but it's been a bit of a goal for me to get the yeah. 24k. Uh, we're going to be doing some live challenges here. I'm going to hit start now. Uh, the first minute will be for Big Hosk to go ahead and make his guess and explain what he's thinking. The second minute will be for me to explain. So let's head straight into the first round here, which is uh, fairly self-explanatory, or is it? Okay. Let's see what you think. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we've got yellow plates for starters mm -hmm. with blue stripes. So definitely thinking UK. Yep. I'm sorry. Definitely thinking Europe. Okay. Um, if I have a look at what side the steering wheel is on, it mm -hmm. seems to be on the... Oh, hold on. I can't see on this car. I think it looks like it's on the left side. Yeah, I think it or is, is it... yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah on the left tell. side. Yeah. yeah, on the left side, which means that it would probably be uh, right side drive. So, yeah. I imagine this is just Netherlands, really. Uh, any, any, any feel for where in the country it might be? Obviously, Netherlands is not necessarily an easy... Uh, region guess if it is there of course yeah yeah so this is probably like a bit of a deficit of mine like mm -hmm. I'll identify mm -hmm. a country like this Netherlands and I'll just mm -hmm. plunk it middle to get a good hedge right but well, I mean, I'm not really sure what exactly might hint me to one part of the country or another <laughs> right well get your guess in um, it's a very flat uh, country so it it's not like it, yeah <laughs> so I might just True. guess centrally True. Yeah, Amersfoort Amersfoort uh, All right, cool. Netherlands, you can actually tell just from the first second you look at this round that this is Netherlands because we've got the cross-hatched pavement here, which is like okay. the red brick pavement. Uh, combined with like the red brick houses uh, and the cross-hatched pavement, you're always going to be Netherlands. Then you got the yellow plates on both sides, you're great. Um, so I guess the only like uh, question here would be, could it be Luxembourg? And with the red brick houses, you would basically discount Luxembourg. Um, okay. As for the vibe, it kind of feels like a bigger metropolitan area, and for that reason, I, I have no idea where this is. Like, I don't really think it feels like up here, but it could be in one of the bigger towns. I would say it's just like one of these ones over here. So I'll just guess between everything here. Uh, and we'll see. Fantastic. And okay, well, it's kind of halfway up. So yeah. All right, cool. Great That's a great start. That's mm -hmm. a great start. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about uh, being on 24k pace, you're on 24k pace, so that's great. We are. Let's, uh, let's see what happens on the next round, shall we? We're actually, we're actually above pace. Four point, yeah. I need to average 4.8. Yep, yep, yep. Above pace. That's great. Okay. okay. Cool. Next round. How are we feeling? Uh, what do you see? Memphis All Day Cafe Bar. Where does it over here? <laughs> ah, is that Greek text somewhere? Or yeah, it looks like Greek direction. text on the bin. Oh, yep. There we go. Um, okay. okay. I can see it being Greece here. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely Anything got a big Greek vibe. drawn to in the, in the uh, round so far? Blue stripe plates, mm -hmm. um, Memphis. Is Memphis a... Nah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, really it's, too very, sure. it's very urban here, but not too many clues, I feel, actually. Yeah, 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 I'm really unsure, actually. I think, again, like, happy to identify a country here, mm -hmm. but definitely not sure where to region guess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It definitely, it definitely doesn't feel like an island or anything, so mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe mm -hmm. mainland. For the sake of a good hedge, I'm going to guess in Larissa. Okay, Larissa seems reasonable. Okay, so as for me here, uh, let's just take over quickly. So, yeah, on the pedestrian crossing signs in uh, Greece, mm. you don't have any stripes, so that would oh, immediately okay. differentiate it from maybe a North Macedonia with a tiny bit of Greek in the round or something like that. So, yeah, that's sure. obviously useful there. Uh, these green bins with, like, the red and white stripes and, like, this kind of big style of bin is common all around the Mediterranean as well. So they seem to show up oh, all the okay. time in different places. Um... Then, I guess, like, yeah, I mean, the rest of the rounds just feels fairly Greek. you got, like, kind of a thicker, like, you don't really have much of a white border around the red signs in Greece as well. Uh, yeah, okay. And then finally, the one thing I thought of is that, like, this might be the town name here, uh, in which case it kind of looks quite long. Uh, but yeah. I don't know what, I don't know which one it would be. So I could see it, like, literally being raining for west from Thessaloniki to this one. Kind of got more of a south vibe, mm. so I'll just try that, but I really. Okay. I'm really just as unsure as you on this one. It's going to be south okay. of Greece. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, that was not, oh, not bad. Okay. okay. Are we on your hedge? Your hedge four, works four, quite nicely. 
Four, four. Okay, so I've got to have some pretty cracked guesses for the next three. That's right. That's right. Hopefully, we have a nice seed here. But uh, that's been a good guess. I mean, to be to be honest, like I'm already out of uh, out of contention, and you're still in. Yeah. It's, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what happens. What do we got now? Yellow stripe. Seeing some interesting looking brothers on the left here. Oh, oh, yeah, oh there's a text. Off. Cambodian People's Party. Well, that's all you need to know. <laughs> and that's not bad because Cambodia <laughs> is a fairly small country, so we could we could pick up pace here. Okay, so now that we know they're in Cambodia, I'm looking for geography to try and make a educated guess on where it could be. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of looking at the Cambodia um, on the map section now mm -hmm. to guess, yeah, yeah. and it looks like it's doesn't look as reasonably topographically diverse. It looks like it's somewhat flat, at least where there's where it's mostly developed. So yeah, that's true. I'm thinking somewhere on the highway in between Phnom Penh and Krong. Mm -hmm. Batam Bang, maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, halfway between those two countries. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, cities. So, for those of you wondering uh, at home, uh, what gives away f apart from the Cambodia sign here that this is Cambodia We've got the yellow center line which you would see in some countries in Southeast Asia not others But yeah, Thailand and Cambodia always have that Malaysia doesn't for example And then we also have this kind of uh, holy pole here with the kind of divots in it uh, That's very Cambodian these double story stilts houses are all the, all over the place in Cambodia You can see another one here um, They often have like kind of like a section underneath now Cambodia is a very weak country for me um, I would say this is somewhere in like that central valley, yeah, between these cities up here and Phnom Penh. And I, I would probably just go middle here. Like the sandiness reminds me more of near Phnom Penh, but kind of like the, the palms and stuff kind of give me more of like a, I don't know. I, I do think it's kind of more just like south middle, but we'll see here what it actually is. And okay, it was actually just oh, all wow. the Vietnamese. Border. Okay. Interesting stuff. All right. Makes sense, but uh, yeah, not a strong country for me. So I normally click somewhere <laughs> near for non so if I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> and to be honest, you always pick up well, at least 4,000 points. So it is nice in that sense. Yeah, not too much yeah, to say nice though. To Color black signs. Uh -huh. Oh, bit of French. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here it would appear. Is that a blue reflector? I see. Oh, I think Maybe. it might be. I think it might be. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'm pretty settled this France. Mm -hmm. Now, we're in France. France is a hard country. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it has a bit of a, like, either, it definitely feels more north and south for starters. Mm -hmm. And I I think my gut tells me northeast, but the more I look at it, the more it feels west. I'm not really too sure, to be honest with you, I guess. Right. So, I think I'm just going to go with my, I think... Maybe I just go somewhere in the middle and guess north, mid, and just see what happens. But yeah, I'm definitely thinking, yeah, I'm a bit torn between the west and the east, to be honest, sure. but definitely feels more north. So I'm going to put my guess in now. Sure thing. Okay. So first things first, to get France, we have the French language. We also have a flat mm -hmm. signpost, which you wouldn't really see in Belgium. It's more of like a French, I don't think you see it in Belgium. Regardless, it's a very French and Spanish thing to do, uh, okay. where, the, where the signpost is not round, but flat sided. Then as for, oh, and then we also have like the lap pull down bar pole top here, which is like Spanish and French as well, particularly common oh, in France. Okay. So that's, that's great. Uh, also it's able to be seen in like Senegal and Madagascar and places with French influence. Uh, not yeah, much I have seen that in Senegal. Yeah, yeah, right. Not much stuff to explain here, but we have like some dryish hills here and a lot of pines, which in France, like these, especially these pines over here, almost felt Italian. So I actually kind of think this is like central southern, maybe. Oh, wow. Eastern. Okay. Like it's somewhere like th broadly this area, in my opinion, but I kind of feel like southern is actually the play here. So we'll see. Oh, and... let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, it was more. Oh, southern. wow. Yeah. <laughs> So that was a difficult round though. And I think especially the winter coverage there kind of gave a false sense of it being a bit mm. colder when mm. actually it was just a cold day in a warm part of the country. Uh, and I think the main thing there is so yeah, that kind of like bare, kind of sandy looking hill in the background would just be very strange for the north of France. So, right, yeah. okay. Yeah. So if, if you see that kind of exposed sand, rock face kind of business, yeah, it's probably safer to think more south. Yeah, so somewhere like between Lyon and Toulouse would probably be where you where you are. So like yeah, also kind of area here. Okay. okay, so last round, let's see if we can at least uh, pull a twenty-two k here. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be awesome. Okay. Let's go for it. I'll need a five k. You will or you a four point. It's doable though. It's doable. Okay. okay. So what are you seeing? Yeah, ask. Uh, well, I see a Peru. Mm -hmm. Um, but if I didn't see that, let me see what I guess Peru. Okay, black car, sun's in the north, so southern hemisphere. Oh, I see black and white poles. 
Yeah. Up ahead to the west. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of what other things might hint to me, Peru. Uh, I don't see any of like the striped like rail guards or anything, but right, it's not yeah. really the part of country that that would be in, I guess. True. Now, looking at the sign, I'm trying to think, is there any way that I can get a good, good Esto Rosaria Nacional? Is that, that might be some kind of reserve, Reserva Nacional, Esto. If I can look for that. <laughs> well, it's maybe, time to guess now, but, so where are you going to yeah. go? Awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess south-ish. All right. Because it looks drier. It looks a bit arid. Mm -hmm. All right. Guess. Okay. Hosk is in. So, a couple of things. This is the Peruvian kilometer marker. Then we also have the striped pole. So, actually, poles in Peru should always be striped. It's basically 100% effective. Uh, and it's great because none of the other South American countries do it. Then we also have this, like, kind of sign with like oh, that's on kind of concrete pylons here. Concrete cinder blocks. That is very common in Peru and very uncommon elsewhere. Uh, then we got round okay. concrete poles as well. Yeah. We also have, like, like this kind of long grass and this rock walls here. This reminds me of somewhere, like, near the tri border here. Maybe up to Lima inside this valley, but it definitely feels like more of a south kind of thing here. And I, I, okay, I, would, okay. I would hedge it south, southern here because it can be anywhere between Ica and Tacna, in my opinion. But we'll see what it's actually. Pretty similar is. to where I guessed. Yep. And actually, great guess there, Hosk. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Actually, so close to the 22K there. And, so uh, close. I definitely, yeah, I definitely held your own there. That was a good seed from you. Um, thank you very much. Grapes. Thank you. So let's head through to another seed here. And uh, just see if we get some smaller countries, because that's honestly often what you need for the 24k. Yeah. Okay. I need to incorporate some of your amazing advice. <laughs> Oscar. Indeed. Hopefully we get some of the same countries, so we can. Uh, but okay, yeah. let's see what's going on on round number one here, in your opinion. Oh yeah, this is Sesh. Okay, <laughs> Southern Hemisphere. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Southern Suns in the South, so Northern Hemisphere for starters. Okay. It definitely has a South American feel to it. I'm seeing double striped yellow lines that have faded. Mm -hmm. I feel like that fence to my... The fence on either side is significant. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's very Southern American. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Car is white. Um, oh, wow. I'm going to embarrass myself. This is wrong. But I think I'm leaning more... Um, oh, hold on. Oh, no. That's not a Colombian cross. My bad. Black mm -hmm. back of the sign. I don't know if that's significant. Probably is. Probably is. I'm thinking this is Brazil. I'm thinking this is either Brazil... Colombia or Mexico, and I'm really unsure, but I think I'm really doubting myself on Brazil. I'm actually just going to go northern Colombia and just see what happens. Oh, okay. wow. I'm really torn. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this white car with the sliver of um, of brake light there is found mm. in the three countries you mentioned, Brazil, Colombia, Mexico. Probably okay. most common, actually, I don't know, like, it's kind of uncommon in all three, but definitely findable in all three. Uh, then, quite simply here, we have a Brazilian pole. So, I mean, you can kind of tell if you Oh, I missed it! I missed it! <laughs> as the sections here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is not easy. I actually don't know where I should guess here in the last 25 seconds. Obviously, I get an extra 20, uh, an extra minute to look at it than you. Uh, and I still don't know where this is, to be quite honest with you. Like, okay, I can see, like, a weird Rondonia here. I can see... I don't know. I don't know. I can see Maranhão even. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually know. I feel like it is more so this direction here. Uh, so I might just go Tough Piauí, but, but like I also saw down here initially. Uh, but let's see here. Okay, it was. Oops. Oh, great guess. Yeah, Pernambuco. That makes sense. Uh, so I kind of came to my senses. It really couldn't have been Rondonia there. So let's just quickly look at that round again because I was. Yeah, so I'd love sure. to. I'll crack it open. Yeah, so black backs of the signs, that's Brazil. For South America, that's normally Brazil. Not 100%, but definitely most commonly seen there. Uh, okay, secondly, cool. we have, you know, the Brazilian poles, and that's obviously a huge thing for getting the country. If you can mm. spot them from a distance, because often you're not actually that close to them, but you can see it's kind of slightly wider at the bottom, has those sections if you can look for them, very useful. Then, I think the big thing here for me was over this direction, I saw some like almost African looking trees where they're a bit wide yeah. and set. Yep. Uh, that's actually a good thing for Colombia. They're quite common in Colombia too. But if we're talking about Brazil, then that kind of Northeast area is where you see them and normally all the way Northeast. So yeah, okay. uh, the closer to Africa you are, the more likely you see African trees in Brazil. I think that's a pretty fair meta. So it's easy to remember. That makes sense. Yep. Okay, uh, obviously this one's not a 24k, but let's see if we can nail the next rounds and, and see if you can get a 20k, because obviously that's going to yeah, be sounds good. a difficult challenge. Now. I'm, 
I'm just frustrated I missed the um, Brazilian pole because if I if I looked closer at the round and saw that I would have um I would done better. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the problem with limited time. Sometimes you don't know what to focus on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Turkish flag. Yep. That's looking good. Uh, blue stripe. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about Turkey here. Mm -hmm. Definitely feels more developed. Like I feel like some metropolitan kind of area. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That feels quite. Um, I think I think probably like more northeast towards Europe, perhaps mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. might be a smarter guess here. Okay. Um, again, identify the country, but region, like getting the right region, is um, it's really tricky. So I'm gonna hedge in between Ankara, Bursa, and Istanbul mm -hmm. in like, Eskishir. <laughs> oh, is that oh, is that how you say it? I don't know. Eske Eskishir. I don't know. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Turkey. Bit of that action, bit of dur. Yeah, okay, I like it. Uh, so, I, I actually know the city here. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I did a bit right of Jalotris coaching. Like like I'm coaching you right now, Jalotris did a bit of coaching for me on uh, Turkey. And it turns out that this uh, like sign with the rounded bit at the top, that's only mm. found in Ankara, the capital. So it's quite easy no to remember. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all crap. over Turkey, you'll see these blue and red ones. Uh, street signs, but you'll never see the rounded top apart from an anchor. It's 100% effective as far as I know. Um, also for Turkey here, like, obviously you always have these apartment buildings. You barely ever have, like, normal, like, bungalow, like, single-story kind of European houses. They're almost always like this, and you almost always have, like, water tanks on the roofs, though we can't really see them here. Uh, actually, we don't see any. The last thing I wanted to mention is that in Generation 3, there's never an antenna in Turkey. Super useful. So if you're in, like, a more of a Europe toss-up, you will never see the antenna with Generation 3 camera. Okay, that's oh, the end of okay. our time. Let's see. And it was indeed Anchor, of course. Wow, that is some cracked meta. Mm -hmm. Super strong. Obviously, it's it's only like one in every, you know, 20 or 50 uh, Turkish rounds that you actually be in the yeah. capital. But <laughs> yeah, when you see it, when you see it, super nice. Capitalize. Um, and actually, in, a, in Generation 4, you don't always have them because they started updating those signs out of existence. But for Generation 3, oh, okay. very useful. Okay. <laughs> Let's head through to the next round right. here. See what you're thinking. Big Osk. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we are. Mm hmm Black plates. Mm hmm Left side drive. Yep. Definitely driving left. Um. Okay. Oh, I've seen it. Okay. I've seen the Black Peninsula sticker. Okay. Well, yeah, we got the Black Peninsula sticker. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think. What else would have helped me? Well, the Black, the black plates make sense for Malaysia mm -hmm. and obviously the left side drive. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. The palm trees, check out. Definitely, definitely. <clears throat> Quite a few palms in Malaysia. And the ar the architecture directly to our south checks out as well from, for like that Indo-Malay kind of architecture. Yeah, yeah, definitely, for sure. Yeah. Um. Okay, now coming to making a guess. What, what's the um, vibe here in terms of the peninsula? I think it, I think it feels um, slightly more drier. Yeah, so I guess maybe like... Guessing east of Kuala Lumpur. I don't know. Okay, okay. I'm just going to put it in because it's past my time. All right. Okay, so here we have a pretty interesting round. The black sticker really helps out here because I could have seen this being on the island, but it is a bit dry. Uh, mm. So, yeah, when I see dryness in Malaysia, definitely there are parts, pockets in the south. But I, I like the northern states better. Kedah, Kelantan often looking quite dry indeed. Um, mm. However, I think this is one of those exception rounds because as I looked in the distance here, I've just seen a yellow street sign. Now, yellow street <laughs> signs are quite unique. Like, not many places around the world have yellow street signs, I feel. And you see them in New Zealand and stuff sometimes, but Johor Bahu uh, has them. Bahu, sorry, has them. Shut uh, the front door. Shut the front door, indeed. Yeah, we're actually here. So somewhere in the outskirts of town, I feel, with this dryness, because it does feel a bit strange. So let's see if it's correct. And yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. my lanta. How's he pulled that out? Yeah, That's yeah, unreal, yeah. man. Two rounds in a row with a street sign meta. Street but sign meta. It goes to show. That's next level. Uh, and I would say that actually your observ observation, I don't know how conscious this was, but uh, 
some of those houses actually did feel Indonesian. Like this, the single story house we saw just to the, the direction you pointed me did feel quite Indonesian. So it did kind of make me reconsider that kind of North vibe I had. Uh, but yeah, oh, okay. okay. I mean, yeah, I was probably, I was probably going to go quite wrong there. Uh, but luckily, saw the street sign. So yeah, let's go for that. So would you, would you would you have smacked that north if you didn't see that street sign? I wasn't not sure, but there's probably a, like with that dryness, I would definitely most times be, I was seeing that going be going mm. north. So yeah, I probably would have. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, sun's in the north, so southern hemisphere. Mm -hmm. I think safe to say. Okay, yellow plate yeah, on the motorbike. I don't know if that's gonna bait me, but I feel like yellow plates typically are in Colombia. If I'm not wrong mm -hmm. um yeah definitely feel south american mm -mm. i could also see this somehow being brazil but mm -hmm. it does kind of look brazilian that's fair yeah i think i'm just gonna have to trust my gut on the white car the southern hemisphere oh hold on <laughs> wait <laughs> so my mm. colombia is in the northern hemisphere yeah mm. interesting oh uh, okay all right well do i trust Okay, do I go with the sun meta or the plate meta? Stuff it. I'm going the plate. I'm gonna stick it in Colombia because it feels Colombian. This is right, interesting. Guess. This is an interesting round. What is this yellow number plate doing? Is it actually a Colombian one? Good questions to be asked. We have a round pole here, which would obviously be much more typical of Colombia than of Brazil. Um, mm. But then we see this red soil. Yeah. And we also see like uh, like. Mm, it's actually interesting here. This looks like a Brazilian pole, does it not? Yeah, it kind of looks like it might have sections here. <laughs> although the way the sun's yeah. hitting it is very confusing. Uh, and then I do just feel that this might be a Brazilian pole top. So, if, okay, I'm, okay. if I'm combining all that, the fact that it does look a bit Colombian or something like that, we could be in Accra here. I also thought of maybe like a weird something on the, along the East Coast. Um, mm. I don't really get to make up my full mind here, but I actually might go all the way out here to hedge. Just and stick it, man. Just like stick it. it. Why not? It might be. It might be. So let's see here. And, oh, it was. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was a Brazilian pole. So there we go. Very nice, Hosk. I mean, happens to be that I'm just. kind of <laughs> about as close as you are there. But, uh, <laughs> Good yeah, okay, okay. Let's, that's actually kind of a bad guess from me. So let's take a look at the round again. Oh, wow. In Generation 4, it's completely yeah, easy. It's oh, hilarious. goodness. Uh, wow, there's so your, we your climbing cross for you. Yeah. Wait, how'd you do that? Oh, you just changed the date. Yeah, just changed the date. I don't know, that was a thing. Okay. So let's take a look at this pole over here, firstly speaking. Uh, and was it actually a holy pole? It was kind of square, but it wasn't holy at all. It just had some yeah. metal brackets around it. So uh, I think actually trusting the yellow plate here would have been wise, given that in Brazil they're extremely rare. Uh, yeah, no. But the red soil, that is uh, quite That's difficult to bag. get. Quite difficult to get, yeah. So, and then I thought I just got kind of confused about the pole top after I saw the red soil. So, yeah, mm. I mean, not too much to say there. Definitely an Amazon kind of vibe. Uh, but yeah, yeah, big time. It was kind of like a, a mixed metas round. Yeah, that red soil really threw me as well. I, I mm -hmm. don't think I said anything about it, but now in reflection, I guess you kind of take the the round as a whole and mm -hmm. you kind of look at everything and you think. But yeah, that definitely cast out on my Colombia guess because obviously red dirt just screams Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, east of the Andes, like we actually were here, there's much mm. more red dirt. So that's okay. a good matter as well. Like if you guess where it says Colombia on Colombia, there's often red dirt there and they can be quite red. Um, oh, so, okay. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm a bit sad about that round, but you know, we weren't going to get 24k <laughs> anyway, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's all learning. It's all learning. Exactly right. I'm learning as well as you. Uh, let's, uh, it's oh, maybe the most difficult one we had so far. What do you think? Cacti. Yep. Uh, I feel, oh, gum trees. What in the world? Uh, background olive trees. Yeah, we do have eucalyptus trees here, a couple here. Yep. Uh, oh, architecture looks kind of Mediterranean though. Mm. So you've yep. got Mediterranean architecture. Mm -hmm. We've got olive trees. I think the cacti might be a bit of bait. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if there's anything in the debris along the ground. Uh, sun's like a slightly south mm -hmm. of east so maybe northern hemisphere i think if i'm being honest this feels like southern spain oh yeah but i could be on for a pretty embarrassing guess here this is like the kind of round that i would just reset if i pulled it up but this is why we're learning <laughs> yeah exactly so I'm, just gonna, right. I'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it where my gut tells me to yep. and um you're ready to learn <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so I, uh, I like generation two on Mediterranean is very difficult, but let's see what we can work with in our last minute here. So okay. the the cat the uh, uh, eucalyptus in uh, in Europe would definitely be Iberian Peninsula, particularly like around here, but Iberian Peninsula, uh, Spain and Portugal. Mm -hmm. This tree is like very Spanish or Italian, I would say. Um, okay. This architecture is quite difficult to read, actually, at this distance. I'm not quite sure. Like, the painted house almost feels like Portuguese or something. But mm -hmm. I don't really like Portugal. Um, we have a ton of cacti here, as you said. I do associate a ton of cacti with uh, Sardinia. Landscape also fits. Oh, um, wow, yeah. Okay. But I, I think this is Spain or Sardinia. Um, and I will try Sardinia. Let's, let's see. I, I, I do see like, Sardinia now. Yeah. I do see Sardinia now. That's so a great many call. cacti feels good. And it was indeed that nice. Wow. Great guess. Yeah. That didn't even cross my mind, but Thank that you. makes so much sense now that you say it. Yeah. So, uh, that, that was a bit of a marginal round, like, uh, definitely not quite typical Italian architecture. They normally have double story mm. houses there. That was single story houses. We could see that were kind of oddly colorful. Um, I actually don't mind the Spain guess there, uh, but. Cacti, like uh, an abundance of cacti like that is kind of rare in Spain and just okay. for some reason common on the Italian islands and yeah. Okay, so that last round, I mean, we had such good guesses outside of South America, or at least I did. And then mm -hmm. South America was a bit, oof, it was a bit, it was a bit rough. Uh, but, uh, Hosk, thank you so much for joining me on the first episode of your Road to 24K. Obviously, this format is uh, more educative than um, conducive to high scores, because we're not really resetting. But mm -hmm. um, I think the kind of building up the knowledge will get there eventually. So, anything else to say before we end off this first episode, Hosk? Mate, just wanted to say thank you for having me. I feel like I've got the best coach in the world. I feel like we're on for something special here. That's that's just the brotherly love, huh? Thank you all for watching. Uh, big shout-outs to Oscar for coming on. We'll be back Thank for you. another episode of this for sure, for sure. And uh, we might even switch up the format, so if you have any suggestions, do suggest them down below. Uh, guys, uh, till next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye. See you later.